Welcome to Munduk, Bali's hidden gem two hours north of the more popular Changu. With cooler climates and hotels tucked away in the mountains, Munduk acts as a perfect escape for those seeking peace and quiet and to get closer to nature. This video will show you the top 10 things to do in Munduk and where we stayed. For those who love waterfalls, make sure to see stop 6 to 10. A slight caveat, we were unwell during our stay here, so our time was very stop start, but we hope you enjoy nonetheless. Now let's go. Another day in Mundek. Today is a really, really busy and really exciting day. We are hitting six different locations, some temples, some waterfalls. We've got a driver for the day um, and yeah, we're just gonna go and check them all out um, and take you with us. So our first stop is at Lake Tamlingan, which is just behind Liv. There's a temple here, which I have no idea what it's called. Um, yeah, it's really nice. <laughs> So shock horror, it's called Tamlingan Temple, Tamlingan Lake, makes sense. This is the twin lake viewpoint of Lake Guyan, and this is Lake Tamlingan, which we were just at a second ago, which looks much more impressive than the flood. Just at Munduk Swing, which overlooks the lakes that we just showed you. It was 100,000 to get in per person, which equates to about £6 each. And there's loads of different various viewpoints you can get photos of. So you've got a bird's nest and a fake gate, love part, and then you've got the swing at the end. Quite expensive for what it is, but pretty nice, worth doing, I'd say. just arrived at the Ulan Danu Temple, which is the temple on the water, just on the lake behind us here. Massive ground, it cost 150 yeah. million, so that's, what, nine pounds? Um, for the pair of us, 450 each. So yeah, we're gonna go for a wander. Yeah, and interestingly, it says if you're on your period, for the ladies, do not enter. We've just taken a few shots. If you come here, there's lots of flowers along the side of the temple. We just started taking some shots and then everybody came over to take lots of shots. So, yeah, I'll show you actually. It's not even a photo spot. Yeah, it's, we just thought it looked nice. Anyway, <laughs> but you heard it here for us. When you come here, come around the side to where all the red flowers are. And there's yellow ones too, but I think the red ones are nicer somewhere in red um, and yeah there's some really nice shots in apparently I look like a professional I know what I'm doing so there you go <laughs> so yeah all these people are now are now here taking their pics just stopped for lunch come to a local restaurant which is buffet 120,000 rupiah per person which is like what is that seven pounds something like that so yeah a whole load of random food. So, first day properly exploring on Bali. Half success. It hasn't stopped raining, so we've cut the day short. We've come back and we've got the driver again tomorrow who's going to take us. We've missed out on two waterfalls. So we're going to do the waterfalls in the morning and then he's going to take us down to a bud, which is our next stop. So, haven't really missed out too much actually. Just means we get to chill this afternoon and we'll see everything via our transfer tomorrow. But yeah, not too bad. We made it out this afternoon for a couple of hours and we enjoyed the pool and the jacuzzi to the fullest. Have a look at this. So 
we are just about to check out of our lovely villa at Munduk Munir Villas. We are, but I just wanted to give you a quick informative room tour because we didn't do that when we first got here because it didn't feel great. Um, so as you walk in, each of them are a little cabin of your own. So as you walk in, we've got a bed here and I know I say this a lot, that bed <laughs> is so comfortable, like so comfortable, the pillows are great. Yeah, we could I have can confirm them. this is the comfiest bed we've had travelling by a distance. A, a country mile. And yeah. I've spent a lot of time in the bed in yeah. the last three days. It's been a great place to be. Um, so yeah, got a massive room here, really high ceilings. Then you walk into like the dressing. Said high ceilings. <laughs> then we walk into like the dressing kind of area. Um, we've got a mini bar here. Little like desk area here or like makeup station whatever you want to use it for it's been all three of the above for us um robes as well which is always a bonus and then you come into the bathroom which is really lovely like got a bamboo feel to it you've got a bath and we've got a shower and i think i showed this on my last video you can shower in a bath with that gorgeous for you it's a really light it's just a really Maybe like little gremlins in the darkness. Yeah, so there's a really light. You can sit out on the ground here, you can sit out and have coffee and your little perch over there. And yeah, honestly, the views are just unbeatable, really. It's just really, really peaceful, really relaxing. If you do want to stay here, uh, all the cabins are slightly different. Some have more beds. One of them does also have an infinity port in front of it, which is really lovely. You're going to pay about £175 per night to stay here. It's a lovely little bit of luxury in the mountains. It's definitely a place to come to relax and just chill. So it's time to check out from Munduk Mia Villas. I'm actually really sad to go. I feel like we spent a lot of time at the hotel because it is quite a remote place and obviously our day yesterday didn't quite go to plan so we're doing half of it today. So yeah, we spent a lot of time just relaxing here and it's been, yeah, it's been really great. The staff are so kind, can't do enough for you. So um, yeah, time to go but I'm sure we'll be back. So we're back in the car, finally finishing our day of adventures. So we've got three things visit today so we've got the Munduk waterfall the uh, Bansiyama waterfalls and Lekki Lekki waterfalls and then we'll be dropped off at our next destination which is Ubud so a few more things to show you before the end of this video let's get going okay so we've just got out of the car but our driver our lovely Hello. driver Hello. <laughs> this is good day yeah, our driver, good day, our driver. It's been awesome. yeah. He's just parked our car <laughs> and, now, on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> and now we're going to walk 500 metres down to Munduk Waterfall. So we've just paid 20,000 each to get in which is about a pound. There was a pathway the whole way down so it's really easy to get to. And here is the waterfall. We've got it all to ourselves. Wow, look at my hair. <laughs> so, oh, just leaving Munduk Waterfalls now. So lucky, there was like nobody there. I don't really know what time it is. I think it's like half nine. It was about half nine, quarter past nine when we got here. It's just, wow, breathtaking. First waterfall we've seen in Bali. And I mean, if this is a taste of what's to come, we're in for a real treat. Definitely come to this one if you're in Munduk. It's, take your breath away. So now we are making our way to Bansiyama. Bansiyama? Bansiyama waterfall. Something like that. So when you come to Munduk, there are chrysanthemums, I think is how you say it, absolutely everywhere. And this is, these are farmed for what's called a Changsari, which is like a little box like this big. You'll see them everywhere in Bali. And three times a day, uh, the Hindu people put them out as an offering to God. It has chrysanthemums and then a little orange flower, which I don't know what the name is. 
and sometimes some food and various different things. Um, so you'll see them everywhere. And basically, do not step on them because uh, that's a sign of disrespect. Making the descent down, I've already forgotten the name of the waterfall. Um, Banyamala. Banyamala, and it costs 60 um, rupiah to get in. That was for two people, so 30 each. A few more people on this one, but not too many. And it's absolutely stunning. Look. It's so refreshing and so nice. Definitely recommend coming here when you visit Linda. A change of events. We have chosen to come to Lamuki area instead of going to Leki Leki waterfalls. We're going to go to Leki Leki. If we have time, we'll go after here. But if we don't, we're going to go from Ubud because we're going to go to Na Nang Nang as well, waterfall, and they're like near each other. So we've come to Lamuki waterfalls. We are just about to do the water slide. Ah, really excited. We're going to film on the GoPro so we can show you that. And then there's two other waterfalls here, Fiji waterfall and um, I can't remember the name, begins with S, I'll tell you when we get there, um, but they're meant to be unreal. So yeah, we made the decision to come here on a whim and yeah, really excited to just explore these waterfalls as well. Epic. I think the video does it justice on how fast you're going down that thing. And that is class. Yeah, I always thought I was going to like fly off the rock, but you never do. It's really fun. This place is like in the middle of nowhere, but I would say well worth the journey. I think if you're coming from a bird, it's like going to be like a four hour trip. Um, but if you're in Munduk, like what? This would have been like an hour drive if we'd left straight from the hotel. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so if you're here, definitely, definitely do it. Yeah, so much fun. Just finished up on the water slide, got on the back of a ped each. They basically taxi you around on these crazy, really narrow little roads, which is pretty mental. And now we're going on, I think it's like an hour hike through the jungle and the rice fields to get down to. Supposedly, this is the best water in Bali. So it's well worth the extra money and the extra journey to get here. Plus all the legwork is going to be here walking through the jungle to get down there. Basically at the bottom, it wasn't too bad getting down, but that's because it was so steep. So getting up is going to be great. Anyway, less about the walking. We're now heading through the jungle. Now the best 
come see them. The walk down wasn't too bad, but I think the walk up is going to be a bit tricky. <laughs> The final waterfall of the day. The morning after the big waterfall day in Munda, we finished the day with a two hour drive with our driver and we both just really well. So, just signing off from Munda, as you can see behind us, we're now in a bamboo house in the Bud, which is where our next vlog is going to be. So, stay tuned for that. Don't forget, if you like the video, remember to like comment, share, subscribe, do all the things so that other people can find us and to let us know how much you love them. Ladies. Just notice there's a huge moth. I'm not going to do it. Outside. Okay, so I had to stop filming then. Things got a bit heated, but there was basically that huge moth on the door. But Lewis got rid of it, but it went asleep in the basket that we put it in. So we've just left the basket outside to leave it asleep and not disturb it again. So first on the agenda is Lewis is suffering, as does everyone by the sounds of it when they come to Bali. Bali, Danny, swing. Yeah. I'm sorry for the way. No more for the so we're just sat here waiting for some of our footage to download and we've come onto a conversation about how much would <laughs> how much would someone have to pay you to have one of your fingers chopped off or one of your toes chopped off. So Lewis's conclusion is I'm saying one meal for a finger, 500 k for a toe. <laughs> Maybe less for a toe actually, I'll take 200 grand for a toe. <laughs> Million for a finger. Which finger? Not the index finger, the index finger's two now. And the thumb is two now. The other three, you can have all three for a bit if you want. <laughs> all three of them for a million pounds? Well, no, no. But you can choose whichever one you want for a million. Okay. These are important. Okay. And your toe? 500 grand, unless you're taking the big toe, 750k for that. That's pretty simple. Yeah, fair enough. So yeah, those are the kind of interesting conversations you have when you travel together full time. So how, let's ask you guys, let us know in the comments, how much for one of your fingers, how much for one of your toes? Big news guys, don't worry, I'm back. I've been feeling like shit the last two days, still feel a bit crap, but I'm back on vlogging duties, you'll all be happy to know. Sing us a campfire song. Is that a campfire song? Top She finished half our dinner already. <laughs> but I had the chicken. I am not apologising for that. Schnitzel. Alright mate. God, it looks like I wear the same thing in these vlogs every day. <laughs> so it's a 